Hey, what's up? I'm Gerardo Ortiz, and you're watching Billboard. We're backstage at the Billboard Mexican Music Awards with Gerardo Ortiz. How are you, Gerardo? I'm fine. I'm happy, uh, thankful for all the people that support me, support my music, you know? I gotta ask you, just, you're the biggest winner overall at these awards with 17 total, actually, in your whole career with us, I think. 17 or something 17, like that? 17, yeah. How First it feel? was six, then seven, now it's four. What is that like for you to be this, the biggest winner, really? Oh, it's so important for me, you know. Uh, I started when I was like eight years old over there in Sinaloa, and you never thought I was gonna be over here, you know, winning some viewers awards, and I'm so happy, so glad. Now, you're very young in your career. I wanna ask you, you've done so well. Where is your career right now? What are you doing? What, tell me about your projects, what's well, going I'm on? I'm working on the new album. Uh, it's called Archivos de Mi Vida. You know, with new music. Uh, maybe you're gonna hear a rancherita here, and uh, cumbia, something different and something different for my fans too. I wanted to put you a little bit on the spot if it's okay. Is, can you sing a little bit of one of your songs that you performed tonight so that we can have it for our audience? Like Damaso? Uh-huh. That's perfect, perfect. <laughs> I gotta ask you, woo! Gotta ask you, you are an icon already, but I wanted to ask you about the other icons tonight. Banda El Recodo, Joan Sebastián, Tigres del Norte. Well, Joan Sebastián, eh, El Recodo, I don't know, Arrolladora, and you know, all these people that I'm in the same, nominated in the same category, and I'm glad no, to be there. I've been working my whole, well, like 12 years of my life, so, now that I'm here, I'm tempo. No? And you're part of the new generation of artists. So what is that like to, what, what kind of responsibilities do you feel you have as a new artist, but so successful? A lot, a lot. I have to you know, keep working and pushing and making more music for my fans. And one of the important things that I'm starting to know what they like and you know, that's that's a good connection with my fans, you know. And how do you feel that you're writing all this great music and there's a lot of people who want to work with you? You must have a long line of people, I know you do, <laughs> who want to work with you or want to sing your yeah, songs. You know, what is that like? Feels great, you know, because all these people that is up there now, they want to work with me and, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been working my whole life uh, to get to this part. Now that they want to work with me, it's, you know, great for me. And I wanted to ask you a little segue into Jenny Rivera. It was a big night for her too. Can you tell me about, you know her, right? Can you talk a little bit about her and what she represents today? Well, I, I, I know her family. I respect, you know, uh, Lupillo and, and her family. And I'm really, you know, glad she's, she got all the, the awards and, you know, for her and her family. And what are you going to do tonight or this week or to celebrate all your wins? I have to keep uh, recording my new album. So I'm in the studio the whole week and can you give us a tease of what it is the album like where you're going anything you can tell us well it's kind of like the you're gonna hear corridos in the album baladas uh, well, we're gonna have rancheras we didn't have rancheras in the other albums we're gonna have rancheras and uh, you're gonna hear a cumbia and a little surprise for you and lastly where can your fans see you or what what do you have in store for your fans uh, well, we're, leaving, we're, we're going to Mexico next year. We're thinking of going to Mexico next year. So that's going to be like the big tour over there in Mexico. 